Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich. In this video I'm going to show you how to use a password manager in Ubuntu Linux 8.10 called KeyPass X. Now for those of you that have used this password manager on Windows, it's called KeyPass and the website for it is www.keypass.info and this is it. But as you notice, it is for Windows. So when you go to download it, there's a Windows installer, a zip package for 1.15, and for 2.07 beta, there's a Windows installer, a zip package, and the prerequisite is Microsoft.NET Framework or Mono, which means it should work in Linux, Mac, OS X, BSD, and so on, but it is easier just to get something that is ready-made for Ubuntu Linux in this case. And not to worry because there is. If you go to applications and then add remove, and then choose to show all available applications, you can search for password. And one of them that comes up we have to scroll down to see it here, is KeyPass X, cross-platform password manager. It says KeyPass X is a free open source password manager or safe, which helps you manage your passwords in a secure way. Now there is a website for it, which is keypassx.org, and you can get it from here too. Uh, in the downloads area, you could get it this way if you wanted to. And uh, they actually have OS 10 binaries and they have a Windows binary of it too. But we're going to stick to the Linux side here for Ubuntu. And then you just go ahead and install it. It will be available from applications and then accessories and then KeyPass X. And this is what it looks like. It works almost identical to KeyPass on the Windows side. I'll go ahead and create a new database here. I'll just put a password as test and then what I'll do is I'll just enter a website here by right clicking and going to add new entry I'll just put it as test.com um, and username test url test.com password test now it does have the uh, password generation just like like I said this looks very very similar to the Windows version and then the uh, password repeat you can put a comment in it oops hold on make sure they match first Put in a comment if you want and then hit OK and there you go. You've got it. And then you can go ahead and save it afterwards. Uh, save database as and it's a KDB which is the same as KeyPass more or less. And then you can go ahead and launch it at whim. The only thing I did not see in KeyPass X is that I could not save it via FTP which I could on the Windows side. I tried to see if there was somewhere in here where I could save the database via FTP, but I really couldn't, I couldn't find a way to do it. But other than that, it works exactly the same. Um, for entries, what you can do is, it does have auto type. So if you go to a website, you can go here and do a control V and it will auto type username and passwords in there. You can clone entry, excuse me, clone entries easily. Uh, it has the open URL, which is control U, same way in the Windows version as it is here. Control B and C was copy username and password if you want to do it manually that's the same in the Windows version as well. KeyPass X is really simple so on the Ubuntu side yes you do have a password manager that's identical to Windows KeyPass more or less and um, the great thing about this is that if you're making a migration from Windows into Ubuntu and vice versa this app closely resembles the Windows version and that's the best part about it so it's uh, truly easy to use and uh, that's about it it's it's really simple oh and in addition to that you can choose uh, different icons just like you can in the uh, in the Windows version you can also add custom icons which is PNGs JPEGs bitmaps GIFs BPMs PGMs PPMs XBMs XPMs 
Actually, there's a couple more formats in here that the Windows version will not do, which is actually even better. So anyway, that's about it. Um, if you do like this software, if you actually, I should say, if you use this software and like it, please let us know. Or if you don't like it, tell us why. Take it easy.